It is the best university in the Philippines. Yeah, so that's why he wants me to check it and see it. We got into a detour before we go home. He saw some nice shorts on the sidewalk. They saw like a really good deal. Three dresses for a hundred. That's like two dollars. And they're nice, so I just had to get some for my daughter. You miss your university? Yes. Right? Yeah, Is it the yeah. main field? Uh huh. It's called the Sunken Garden for obvious reasons. Lots of people go here for sports, especially on the weekends. That's our library. It has like six different levels. I spent a lot of time there. Not studying, you, but kind of uh -huh. sleeping. Me and too! Sitting. I used to sleep a lot in the library. So we stopped by my old university because we wanted to check out the scenery and go people watching. It's a Saturday morning. Looks like a lot of people come here to the field to play with the kids and like to train. But we wanted to like kind of watch that and just chill a little bit. It's been a, a very long journey. And I spent a big part of my young adult life here. So I do want to go around and we're going to check out my college if they're going to let us in. <laughs> there might still be some professors there that scared me when I was young so I, I want to like talk to him. <laughs> Here's the university shopping center where you would go to, well, everything in you as a student. You have laundry shops here, barber shop, food, but mostly I went here for photocopying. Because you did that a lot when you were in college. In book binding, laminating, all that kind of You know where this is. Would have probably dined here as a student maybe like at least a hundred times. That's no exaggeration. And they're known for what we're eating. It's Tapsilog, it's like shredded beef, egg, rice. While going through my old college while visiting, I, I bumped into my old broadcast Young. communication <laughs> professor. I was just telling her that we have a vlog now and I hope she doesn't mark me down for whatever she finds in there. This is Mom Jane, she's like awesome. Hi everyone! We're in the library, we can't make too much noise. had to come back to see my undergraduate thesis. I don't know how it looks like. I don't even remember what the contents are. I know the overview of it, but I, I don't know the specifics. It's weird because I was the one who edited it and I also wanted to show it to Greta. I know it's gonna be like a laugh and a half, but it's gonna be fun. It's about sex education and then public high schools and the lack of it. Dirty ice cream. Cheers! Avocado, strawberry, and cheese. We call them dirty ice cream not because they're dirty. And it's like a, an inside joke that if the guy pees on the street, then he's not gonna clean his hands and you. he's gonna touch the same ice cream. So that's why it's called a dirty ice cream. Get it back. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> why would you tell me when I already ate it? Why what? are you telling me that's this? That's where the myth came from. But of course they clean their hands, right? They have their permits and everything. Really? Don't worry about it.
We were just walking and looking for a place to eat. We stumbled into a place that I was looking for the first time that we came in here. I was like kind of sad that they couldn't find it anymore. Apparently they found a new spot. It's more permanent now before they used to be in carts. And they're an institution here in the campus and uh, I would say in the country. Like if you're in UP, which is my university, you have to pass by here and eat what they serve. Just know that it's a really popular place that you have to go to. Before I wolf it down, I gotta explain what they are. It's intestine, both of them. This is from pork, this is from chicken. So pork and chicken intestines. They're very clean. You can't sell this if you don't have a health permit. And the way to eat it is that you dip it. You dip them like so. You want some, babe? Yes. <laughs> by a really good friend to his restaurant. Thank you. Since we had a little bit to eat before we went here, we, we don't want to overload too much. So we're asking for one main course between the two of us. We're going for shrimp. Don't even ask. I super love shrimp, so we're gonna taste that. This is a big ass plate. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you some. We just finished our food here in Casino Juan. It was really interesting to actually taste Latin fusion here in the Philippines because usually don't, you don't see this as much. So if you are a Latino person, I totally recommend it. It definitely made me come back to my country. It made me feel at home again. I've always been a fan of the place ever since I was here in the Philippines. That hasn't changed. In fact, you know, that's improved even. They moved on to a bigger place now and they have more variety in food. Bye! <laughs> our new tags for our bag. This is Eric and he put like at in between maps in case it gets lost. I think this fits more for me. But yeah, we're very happy about our tags now that we're coming back to Nicaragua. You pick the design and you know they do it for you on the spot. What caught my attention is this little suitcase here. Lots of nice colors and then you could put any information on it so I'm like oh we're gonna be traveling a lot because of the vlog so I thought I'd contact them so that you know we can put some branding in there. We came back to so we're looking for dinner and we ended up in a donut shop. Why is that? <laughs> because I wanted something sweet. <laughs> You see, you're even coughing, you're even sick, and you still want something sweet. So we just finished our donuts. I think the sugar rush is done. Yeah. <laughs> we have too much sugar here in the Philippines. A lot of sugar and sugar. more. We're gonna go home. Good night. No, no more. No? No, more. <laughs> no. no let's say it together. Hey, my name is Tom. And dito kayo sa Pilipinas ngayon, watching In Between Maps. Thank you. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,